Republicans' favorite hobby is to make conspiracy theories out of everything to distract you and keep you from talking about what's actually important, which is the fact that they are trying to take away your right to bodily autonomy. If I was faking that, why would I intentionally fist pump somebody? It's so silly. Oh, my gosh. Martha McCallum's here. Her show starts at 3. Oh. But Martha, now, I'm just watching this video while we're playing that. She sort of like half smiles, tosses her hair because she can't push her hair back with her hand because her hands are tied behind their back. Oh, wait, they're not. They? They're not, actually. So I'm going to fist pump. I mean, you know, I, I think about the civil rights protests. I think about Vietnam protests. You think about the fact that the people who were doing them did them at personal risk, Right. Yeah. Because they were so deeply invested in, in the issues at hand. Martha Luther, Martha Luther this King is such a jail. phony. It's, it's so phony. And, and also think about the fact that we're not seeing we've seen, you know, some attacks on some uh, pro-life centers. We've seen things. We've seen those bizarre attacks of like the people, you know, with blood all over them. And that kind of stuff has happened. It is a serious issue in America. This is something people do debate in a serious way. But we're not seeing sort of organic protests across the country. We're not. We're not. We're not seeing grassroots organic protests breaking out across this country. And what we're seeing is this phony baloney stuff that is happening. And they have an ability to pass legislation. They have, you know, they're, they're members of Congress. So this is obviously, it's for show. And, and you know, that when you put your hands behind their back and they're not handcuffed, that's the definition of, of fake. And by the way, her explanation is ridiculous. Uh, why would I be fake if I was fist bugging me? Well, how could you get your hands free if, your fist, if you put your fist in the air? But it uh, makes no sense. But the other thing is uh, the vice president of the United States in New Jersey, first meeting with the state legislature to find out how desperately to keep abortion in play. And then she gave a speech and she's comparing, Kamala Harris is comparing abortion to slavery. Uh, let's listen. The United States Supreme Court took a constitutional right that had been recognized from the people of America, from the women of America. We know, NAACP, that our country has a history of claiming ownership over human bodies. And today, extremist so-called leaders are criminalizing doctors and punishing women for making health care decisions for themselves. So I guess we're comparing it to slavery. Does that work for you? No. I mean, th again, there's just, there's just a disingenuousness about the way this is being discussed. First of all, this decision by the Supreme Court was not to take away a right that was in the Constitution, a constitutionally protected right. This was a question. This this law was debated from the very beginning as not having grounding in the Constitution. Ruth Bader Ginsburg had issues with this uh, this decision of Roe v. Wade in the first place. And it really bothers me that people don't talk about it in real terms. What has happened here? is that it was returned to the states, which makes it a more democratic process. People in each one of those right. states, New Jersey is not going to lose the right for an abortion. Okay? Neither is New York or neither Connecticut. Neither is New York, neither is Illinois, neither is Massachusetts, neither is Colorado. I mean, California, I can go on and on, right? Um, the other thing is that 60% of all abortions in this country aren't done in clinics anymore. They're done by prescription pills that arrive in the mail, okay? So the idea I that, did not know that, by the yeah, way. Yes, 60%. I did not know that. And abortion is down 20% over the past 20 years in the country. So we are, as a country, moving away from abortion. We're moving away from these kinds of clinics. We're moving into a different uh, area where these issues are taken into people's own hands. And, the, and that is the one area that the White House is thinking about protecting, this pharmaceutical access across state lines into states where it is now illegal. So that that's a question. Will there be a Republican pushback on that? There will be in some places. I mean, I would imagine in a place like Mississippi, for example, um, Who where, where they have yeah, where they have zero right to abortion, that there will be pushback on, on obtaining those pharmaceuticals. My guess is that uh, an organization like Planned Parenthood makes their whole future all about this, about protecting that right, because what we're seeing is a decline in, in use of, of clinics, which well, I think most people would say. I mean, Democrats used to say they wanted abortion to be safe, legal and rare. And Martha, rare. I know something else that has been pointed out in your show to extrapolate from the decision 
decision to say same-sex marriage is going to be banned, interracial marriage is going to stop, people are going to go to jail if they're caught, and is it, let's say, for example, a Mississippi, Nebraska resident getting an abortion, you're going to go to jail, you're going to be prevented from going across state lines. All this stuff is not rooted in practicality or and they're not honestly addressing anything. What they want to do is make it bigger than it is. Yeah, I mean, AOC was talking about ectopic pregnancy. That is not included in, in these laws that are being put into place in, in around the states. But the fact of the matter is it's about people going to vote on referendums, voting for representatives who support the what they believe with regard to abortion. And if you don't, if you're you know so incensed about this, you do have the option to move to another state where they re- respect the right that you believe you have. Um it is. I think it's been a very disingenuous and disingenuous conversation. I also don't hear people talking about it as a number one issue that they're going to vote on. It used to be, you know, abortion used to be a single issue voter uh, sort of drive that we saw a lot. When you look at the polls, about 70 percent say that it's an important issue for them. I would imagine that cuts a little bit both ways in terms of whether they're for or against um, so we'll see what happens with people really do vote on this. And the thing is, uh, to see how this plays out is what John Roberts wanted as a compromise, 15 weeks, right? Mm-hmm. He wanted to knock right. it down from 24 to 15. That's where Governor Youngkin is in Virginia. Right. And it's going to be interesting to see what DeSantis is. We know he's as conservative as it can be, but he's going over a state that is red. That's but right. Not, it's not and Oklahoma. And he doesn't talk about it a whole lot. It's not Wyoming. Right, but so that's he, the whole point. He recognizes the state that he lives in. He knows that that where you know that people probably would look for something, some sort of a compromise. Most of Europe is at 15 weeks, which is a lot less than we are at here in New Jersey. You can get an abortion till the ninth month. I I, okay? I cannot get my head around that. No, I, I can't either. Um, so I, I think when people talk about it in real terms and they say, well, you know, when you're four months pregnant, I mean, speaking as someone who's been pregnant three times, like four months is a long time of pregnancy. Okay. And that's, you know, roughly around 15, 16 weeks. Um, Um, so I I think that's a, people are reasonable, more, much more reasonable on this issue than, than most people are giving them credit for. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.